Okay, everybody, welcome back. Now we're uh, still in the Tower of Light, and we just found a reviving mirror here on uh, Let's Play Us Some Brain Lord. Now, um, carrying on, we got a little spring here, uh, provides you energy. You gotta watch out though, later on in the game, there's some of these things which actually provide you with some poison, <laughs> which hurts you, you know. A little, little poison's not usually a good thing. Um, oh, sweet, found another heart. Well, I'll save that and use it later. I need a little bit of health power regenerated. Okay, cool. So. <clears throat> Barnes. Take a break. These monsters are merciless. You should listen to an old man. Yeah, right. Shut up, old man. Ain't got time for that crap. Who are the four? Hmm. Notice places are different. Okay. Notice the different places of four. Oh, yeah. See, uh, actually, you notice these little uh, squares here. Those indicate that spikes are going to fly up through the floor and stab you. So, it's not not a real pleasurable thing to have spikes come up and stab you through the floor so we're going to avoid those whenever possible so what we got here an apple how, how, how cool is that apple a day keeps the uh, you know doctor away if there was such a thing in this game okay here we go now these things can get a little bit annoying um, especially you gotta watch out if you've just been paralyzed because you might like go to do a leap and jump and then uh, you know like think you're gonna go flying but then you stop and then have a wreck and you gotta start over again it takes away one HP every time you every time you end up falling through the sky then you return back to uh, the original place that you started on that room so here we are oh warp gate awesome we got here. Oh, bikes. Oh, another warp gate. Man, them things are cool. Handy little items they are. And door number two holds something down here. Holy cow, look at that red ball. You know, let's just uh, draw that guy down there. That's the best way to do it. You get them things. They, uh, they like never stop uh, if they start bouncing back and forth and stuff. They're just crazy. So, um, you don't want to, uh, well, they, they do stop actually. I'm wrong on that one. Uh, but they will sit there and chase you. So, you want to try to maintain a little bit of distance between yourself and them. And then they'll just roll out of your way and carry on. So, door number three. Oh, a little uh, bow and arrow fox dudes. Kind of like the guys that you uh, first encounter on, on uh, you know, a little Chobin Hoods on, on Secret of Mana. First encounter them in the Haunted Forest. Of course, these guys are, you know, a little different, but whatever. A oh, longbow. Hmm. This weapon, uh, it can come in handy. You know, I mean, it's pretty pretty good I typically just use a sword but uh, you know in certain circumstances this this weapon can be very very good uh, sometimes pretty powerful too you know depending on the rating of the bow so we'll go out and see what it does to our little enemy out here a little fox guy Bad. I'm gonna go with the sword. I've always been kind of a sword swinger, so to speak. <laughs> Oop. I'd like to say again, uh, just in case you missed, uh, you missed the intro in the first video of this series. Uh, the reason that my that my recordings kind of look like crap right now is because my low low grade uh, video equipment uh, I just kind of decided on a whim that I was going to start doing start doing a playthrough uh, and just kind of using what I got and which is just like a you know regular old camera which makes video also and I'm okay I'm just recording on my uh, 
yeah, on my regular Super NES console. Um, and uh, yeah, so just taking a picture of the TV, which doesn't always do such a cool job. But uh, that's what I got, and we're running with it. So anyhow, let's jump on over here and see what we got. Pay attention to the name. Hmm. Can't use it here. You know, I really, uh. One thing that I did forget is a lot of the key locations and where they go. So we're gonna take a minute and, uh, figure out where in the hell. Oh, yep. Yeah, just so happens that, uh, this is the one. Okay, what we got? Oh, a couple more of these dudes. Yeah, have at it. 200 gold a piece. Those guys are actually worthwhile fighting, you know what I mean? Because, like I said before, they're pretty easy to kill, and, uh, you know, 200 is better than 100 for more of the pain in the ass enemies that you got fighting here, so. So. These things just kind of, you know, they don't, like, indicate what way they're going to go, so it's a lot of times just kind of like a little bit of trial and error going on. So. A little here, a little there, jumping around, jump around, chainmail, oh yeah, a little armor upgrade action, okay, army of chains fastened together, you, believe, you better believe it boy. Uh, I didn't mention before that the maximum amount of items that you can carry is these three screens worth, which actually is a pretty decent amount of items, uh, you know, compared to some other games. Uh, I'll go ahead and equip my little magic mirror. These things are handy. Um, you get into a tight spot and you just like, you know, you don't have anything to heal you or you just kind of like lose track in the heat of the moment or what have you. Um, you can use them things, or you, I mean, you don't even have to use it. If it's equipped, if you die, it'll automatically revive you, which is, uh, save my bacon a time or two, you know, let me tell you. So, here we go. Carrying on. And, uh, somewhere around here, the floor starts disappearing. Um, you can always tell a place which is definitely going to be safe if it has something special on the floor, uh, something different, you know, like like these little pebbles and stuff. We'll come into a, fa a phantom floor area. There's some spikes. Um, oh, jeez. Not paying attention as much as I should. Um, you shield. Um, yeah, the uh, phantom floor areas, um, they can be a doozy. Uh, and so you just kind of, you know, make your way through there, and a lot of times you just have to be kind of patient and make your way. Get my way. Drop and protect. Okay, so the drop of protect, um, it's pretty cool. Magic ashes with a strange smell. <laughs> Weird. God raised from one to three. Yeah, okay. Raise up our defense a little bit. And this is actually a permanent effect. It'll, uh, I always, I always, like, wondered at first, like, back in the day, um, like, why, like, it, I always thought it must have been some kind of temporary effect, like, if, but I was thinking, it's like, man, why is my guard only at one, and it only goes up to three? Yeah, that's pretty lame. But, uh, actually, cool another level, um, it raises it up from one to three permanently, so it's like, whatever your guard is, it raises it up from one to three points each time you use one of those, and, um, and that's like way better. <laughs> Let me tell you. Anyway, it kind of goes without saying. Don't attack the stone statue. Well, since I have my little fireball buddy in here, he's going to attack him automatically. So if you want to get through this point without attacking that statue, um, 
put your uh, put your little dude away. Otherwise, he will attack this son of a gun, and he'll come around for you. But uh, he deals a lot of damage. But I'm not really too concerned about that because we got some other stuff here. So I'll go ahead and use my heart and uh, increase this sir. Uh, increase this up by one. Third floor key, huh? Sweet. Look around you off roads are sometimes found in unexpected places. Hmm, well, look around me. Oh, there's some two curiously closely spaced columns. Oh, cool. Sacred area. This must be what they were talking about in that Randall House paper. Okay, I'm running out of time here. Um, oh, oh no. Okay, well, as I kill this skeleton, I'm going to say uh, goodnight, folks, and we'll catch you on the next time. See you later.